I've been uh, associated with this uh, tent since uh, 1992. Uh, some of you probably have seen me uh, perform up here. <coughs> yeah. I'm not going to tell you how I got started in this trade, but my wife happens to be here, and she was here in 91 and convinced Warren Nelson to get me up here. So it's all her fault. And when I told her that I was going to MC this, she said, oh no. And when I told my son I was going to MC this, he said, oh no. So some people know me. Uh, before I start, uh, we found a key up by the spirit house that was turned into me, so if you're missing, it might be a car key, I'm not too sure, it's on a, just on a key ring and one key that's on it, so if you, if it's your key, uh, I will turn it into a, one of the people at Chautauqua here and they can uh, be responsible for it. Uh, it's nice to see so many people here uh, from both sides of the fence. Um, I think back uh, when I started the show, uh, after a couple years in, into it, uh, Warren Nelson had asked me what, what I did in life and I told him where I worked. I worked for the commission. And uh, well, he said, what do you do for activities? And I said, well, at the time, me and my wife were really interested in uh, native crafts and arts, antiquing, what have you. And we were big collectors of that. We would go to auctions and rummage sales and flea markets and pick up anything that they were advertising that was native. And uh, I told Warren over the years that we had collected quite a bit, but one of the things that I was missing from my collection was uh, 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 a painting of the little bighorn, Custer's Last Stand. And he said, well, hell, Jerry, he says, uh, there are diamond dozen, you, know, you, you see this all over the place. Well, I said, this is really something special what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a painting by an artist that captures that moment, that exact moment, when Custer saw those Indians, what were the first thoughts in his mind? And that's what I wanted painted. Well, after a couple of years, I finally found something similar to that, and I invited Warren down to the house, and the painting was just, actually, it was, it was just a big fish. And had a hole in the middle of it, but the border of this painting had, uh, had all, all the Native people in various stages of the sexual act. And, uh, when I brought Warren down to view this, and I said, Warren, I said, this is it. Custer's thoughts, the moment at Bighorn when he saw those Indians, it's right there. He said, I don't see it. He said, I, mean, you know, I always see the fish with a hole in it and all these Indians doing this thing, you know. I said, that's it. Custer looked that morning, he saw the Indians, he said, holy mackerel, where did all these ethnic Indians come from? <laughs> So I know where they came from today, <laughs> a, free, a free Bill Miller's uh, show and, uh, and food to eat, so I'm glad, they, I'm glad they're here. I, uh, I've been with the commission since 1986, I'm a deputy administrator, I think it's a fabulous place to work, I tell people that all the time, uh, we, we're competitive, we look for the best people for the job, uh, we offer a good fringe package, and I told somebody recently, I said, this is the only place that I know of that you can really name your salary once you, once you get hired. And I said, I remember 20 some years ago, I named mine George. I said, it, it's really great. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to uh, start this off because we want to stay on schedule. I know the band is anxious to uh, start at 7.30. Uh, I know Bill is anxious to get on stage. So I'm going to introduce uh, our Recliffe Tribal Chairperson, Chairwoman, Rose Garner of Sulier, who is, uh, I think she's on campaigning. I think there's an election. Uh, <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday, vote rolls, vote rolls, she says. You know, so I had to put that plug in. Uh, our, and the third cult is here also from the, our board. Uh, I'm going to let Rose do the welcome and then we'll get on with the rest of the program. Thank you. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Rose Colonel Sulier, and I'm the chairperson for the Red Cliff Band. I'm also the vice chair of the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission Board of Directors. Kirk Kalk is our board chair, and Kirk, could you stand up? Thank you. On behalf of the Great Lakes Board of Directors, its staff, and of course the Red Cliff Band of Lake Superior Chippewa, 
It's my pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to the 25th year anniversary celebration of the commission. But really, the real reason that we are here is to celebrate the tribes and their exercise of treaty rights. <laughs> I especially want to acknowledge the elders and veterans that are here with us today. Our warm greetings and thanks go out to all the tribal leaders, state legislators, and honored guests for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here and share this special evening with us. Fresh fish, great music, good company, Indian humor. Boy, I don't know if anything can get any better than that. This is like the Cadillac of Indian country. <laughs> On a more serious note, though, I'm honored to say a few introductory remarks. It was my father, the late Richard Bruno Sr., and the late Henry Buffalo Sr., who organized the tribes back in the late 70s and early 80s into a fisheries management entity, known then as the Indian Fishery Commission. This is the precursor to today's highly respected Glyphwick organization. Tonight, we are here to recognize the organization that has assisted the tribes in implementing our off-reservation treaty rights. The year 2009 is being celebrated as a year of the treaty. The event this evening kicks off Benwanjimu, telling a good story symposium that is scheduled from July 28th to the 30th. Minwajimo will be an opportunity to both look back at contemporary Ojibwe treaty history and look forward towards a continued meaningful exercise of treaty reserved rights. We as Indian people are thankful for the vision of our Ojibwe leaders who carefully preserve the rights to hunt, fish, and gather in territory ceded to the United States government in a series of treaties. Their wisdom succeeded in providing the continued opportunity for tribal members throughout the ceded territories in northern Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. So please, mark your calendars and come, us, come and join us for the symposium and be a part of our historic celebration. We are in for a real treat this evening Mr. Miller is a wonderful musician, and I know you will enjoy his concert. Again, we are so happy that you're here to help celebrate our right to hunt, fish, and gather for the past 25 years. I myself spent many hours in the woods hunting with family, especially my father. I learned a lot just being by his side, his teachings, experiences that I treasure and hold dear in my heart. And yes, my father, did shoot that dummy deer. You know, that decoy deer? And after all of these years, I'm still waiting it for, I'm waiting for it to be delivered since he did reduce it to possession. You see those decoys now? They can walk, they can talk. No, I'm just kidding. The commission did a wonderful job planning this event this evening. Let's give them a round of applause because they will really deserve to the commission and staff for a job well done. In closing, I just want to say chi miigwech for allowing me to say a few words of welcome. And also, I want to also let you know that the Red Cliff 31st traditional powwow is going on this weekend. And I want to invite you to come and join us and share our culture at our, tradi our traditional gathering. Please come. We'd love to have you. Miigwech. we would like to call Leo Lafernier. Oh, is Leo here? 